Good evening, I'm Brian Wilk. As the pandemic continues, this has forced many blood drives to cancel, leaving them with low blood levels. And that blood is needed to save lives. Chelsea Swift joins us in the studio on how they are reaching out to the community for help. Hi, Brian. The blood bank is open on a Sunday to help increase donations, and one church is teaming up with a nonprofit for a blood drive. Second Baptist Church partnered with Vitalant Blood Bank to host a blood drive Sunday. They are short on blood, so they really need the community to step up and donate. Our supply plummeted, so now we're trying to build that back up as well as, but people are still needing blood for surgeries and everything, so it's very important that people come out and uh, get us out of this shortage. Clark says each pint of blood can potentially save three lives, and about 40 people will come out to donate at Second Baptist Church. Some of these donors are also able to provide plasma to COVID patients if they themselves have recovered from the virus. We're also doing the antibody testing for COVID, so um, your blood could potentially save somebody who is, di is diagnosed with COVID. We'd use their plasma, and they would be considered a convalescent donor. But safety is still a top priority. Donors were instructed to wear masks and have their temperature checked when they walked in. One donor tells us despite fears of COVID-19, the blood bank is a safe place to give blood and make a difference. They don't have to be afraid. They, they, I mean, these places are taking every precaution that they possibly can, so there's no reason to be afraid to come out and donate. Adding right now is a great time to donate because blood banks have been experiencing shortages. According to the blood bank, approximately 35% of drives have been canceled. Usually when it, you know, big drives come up and uh, the banks are hurting is, when, is usually when I really come out and, and try to help out. This coming Wednesday at the Sheridan Vitalant Blood Bank will be collecting more donations from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Staff saying they recommend calling ahead, but they do accept walk-ins. Brian? Chelsea, thank you.